Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to solve this permission set groups module. And the first challenge is get started with permission set groups. Click on that. Now scroll down to the last. So it is of quiz challenge. The first question is about what is a permission set group? So the correct answer is option B. And the next question, what are the benefits of using permission set groups? And the correct answer is simplified user assignments of permissions based on job functions. So after selecting these two answers, click on this check the quiz button. So yeah, the quiz is completed and we got the 100 points. Now we are going to solve the second challenge in permission set groups and the name of the challenge is create a permission set group. Click on that. Now scroll down to the last. So here is the task that we need to complete. To start this task, choose your hands on org as my trailhead playground and then click on this launch button. Now click on this gear icon and then select here as setup button. So this is the setup page. First of all, let's see the task. So here it says that if you haven't already completed the step by step instructions in this unit, do that now. So we will do that first. So from here we need to start, go to the setup page and in this quick find search for permission sets. So click on this permission sets. Here click on this new button. Now copy the label from the instructions that is sales orders and then add it here and then click on the save button. Then the next step is we need to search for the orders and then we need to assign the permission. So in this find settings search for orders and then click on this activate orders in the permission set. Just scroll down to the top and then click on this edit button. Now scroll down to the last and in this sales, select the checkbox near to this activate orders and then click on this save button. Here click save. And after that, we also need to edit the object settings for the orders so move to the setup and in this find settings search for orders so here you can see that i'm having two orders so i'm just opening the first one first so yeah it is click edit and here select the checkboxes near this create and then delete so here it is create and delete object permissions and after selecting click on this save button. And the next step is we need to create another permission set. Copy the name that is sales contracts and move to the setup page and click on these permission sets. Again click on this new button. Now paste the label here and then click on this save button. And the next step is we need to search for the contracts and then we need to assign all these permissions. So in this find setting search for contract C O N T R A C T S. So click on this contracts. Click edit. Now select the checkboxes near this read, create, edit and then delete. After that click save. Then the next step is it is of creation of the users but uh, it doesn't need it so I'm just moving so here it is permission set group so copy the label that is sales processing and move to the setup page and click on this permission set groups 
here click on this new permission set group and then add the label sales processing and then click save button After that we need to add the permission sets so here click on this permission sets in groups and then click on this add permission set now here just scroll down and here select this s letter and click on this sales contracts and then sales orders after that click add button So we see that two permission sets were added successfully. Just click done button. And after that, just scroll down to the last. We will move to our main challenge. So this is the main main challenge. That means we need to add an app permission for the sales orders. Move to the setup page and then click on this permission sets. Here select this S letter. And here select the sales orders and here click on this app permissions now click edit just scroll down to the last and in this sales select the checkbox near to this edit activate orders and scroll down to the top and then click save button then click save So like this we created the necessary tasks and all just click on this check challenge button So yeah the assignment is completed and we got the 500 points Now we are going to solve the challenge 3 in permission set groups and the name of the challenge is mute permissions in permission set group click on that now scroll down to the last so here we need to select the hands on app guest my trailhead playground because we completed the previous challenge in this only so click on this launch button then you will be redirected here then click on gear icon and then click on this setup button then the setup page looks like this now the task is about we need to mute the edit and delete permissions for the contracts so for that in this setup page in this quick find search for permission set group so click on this permission set groups and here click on this sales processing and from here click on this muting permission set in group so here we don't have anything so we need to create one of them for that click on this new button just remove the names available here and in this instructions just scroll down to the top and copy this label that is contracts permissions muted add it here and also copy the api name and add it here then click on this save button Now click on this contracts permissions muted and in this find settings search for contracts. So click on this contracts then click on this edit button. Now in this muted select the checkboxes near edit and then delete. After selecting the checkboxes, just click on this save button. So like this, we completed the muting permissions. Just scroll down to the last and then click on this check challenge button. So yeah, we got this permission set groups and do check out our channel education matters for next challenge answers and also super bad chances and please share our channel to your friends it will help them too that's it thank you